Live in HD from the station that brings you more West Texas news. News West 9 at 10 starts now. New tonight at 10, a gruesome murder in Mexico with ties to the basin. Nine bodies, some dismembered, were found in an SUV with Texas license plates. Well, it turns out that tag number can be traced right back to West Texas. News West 9 tracked down the home where the SUV owner lived. Josh Navarro tells you what he found out in this News West 9 exclusive. Mike and Crystal, this is the Mexican press release from the Tamaulipas State Attorney General's office. It mentions the tag number where the bodies were found. We did some digging and turns out the license plate is registered in Midland. But at the end of the day, this is the kind of uh, secondary crime that bad guys are using to help facilitate the shipment of drugs across the country. The Tamaulipas State Attorney General's Office confirmed nine male bodies were found stuffed in a vehicle left on the side of the road near Ciudad Victoria on Easter Sunday. Officials say most of the victims had been dismembered. But that's not the most shocking fact that the Mexican authorities released. They released the tag number of that vehicle where the bodies were found, a gray GMC. See Yukon with a Texas license plate traced back to Midland. We are seeing trending that uh, the bulk of the auto thefts that are taking place in Texas uh, do show up uh, south of the border. Fred Burton is the vice president for Strat 4. It's a global intelligence agency based out of Austin. In essence, whenever you have the Texas license plate or any U.S. license plate that uh, is recovered, in connection to uh, any kind of crime that takes place, uh, specifically, uh, let's say, in Mexico. What happens is U.S. law enforcement is engaged with the investigation of the owner of that vehicle uh, to try to determine uh, whether or not, uh, one, was the vehicle stolen, uh, if so, when, or two, uh, is the occupant uh, potentially a victim, or how did that vehicle get there? Midland Police confirmed there's no stolen vehicle report filed associated with the tag numbers. We went to knock on the door at the home where the license plate was registered to ask why that vehicle was found at a crime scene in Mexico. And we even tried to give them a call. Both the Zetas and the Gulf drug cartels operate in that area. Mexican authorities did not say whether there was any evidence of those groups being involved in the killings. The bodies have not been identified and were sent to the medical examiner's office in Tamaulipas for forensic analysis. Now we have the name of the person that it belongs to, however, we won't say who it is until we have their side of the story. There has been 25 homicides in Mexico just last month and was considered the most deadliest so far. Josh Navarro, News West 9.